this is what we're working on the holder for. It's just unorganized, not very useful. Um, so what we're doing is we're just making a holder that'll hold them from small to largest and then hold our little metal pieces that we use for different press operations. Um, we don't like it because when you're pressing this table it like rattles around and everything moves and rolls around and it's just kind of a pain. So that's what we're working on right now. Alright, so got a quick model that I just drew up. I'm testing the fit of the pilot for the press and the 3D printed piece. The printer doesn't print like perfectly, so you have to test that. I need to know what percentage I need to increase or decrease from the 3D model to get it to the right fit, where I don't have to sand it, prep it, do anything like that. I don't really want to have to do that. So I just printed one of the holders. If it works, then I can scale the whole entire, entire model. So the first thing I did was printed a test model. I wanted to make sure before I spent all the time printing that the actual tool itself would fit inside this diameter of hole. Um, first thing that I ran into was it printed with all these faces. Now that was due to the modeling software I used, uh, it's called 123D. Um, it's an online based tool, super simple modeling software. Um, it's just something that I had access to at the moment. And uh, it did all these faces, I didn't realize you could actually change that. Um, so this one didn't actually work because it's like 12, there's 12 faces here, which doesn't mean it's an actual circle, it's more like a polygon of some sort. Um, so what I did was then I just reprinted it um, with a bunch of faces to where it actually is a circle. Um, and this one was a little bit too tight um, and that's why I always want to test is it was too tight with the printer's tolerances to where the tool wouldn't fit in um, at all. So I went and printed the correct size which was this guy here and uh, it's exactly the same thing just a tiny bit bigger and once I had the correct size then I, I knew what I could model the whole thing out of. Alright, so while that's printing, do me a favor, scroll down real quick, hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out, it just takes a couple seconds, all you gotta do is scroll up and hit the little red button, um, it helps us out a lot, so if you could do that for us, I'll uh, get back to the 3D printing. Alright, so once I had the correct size hold, I could then model it in Fusion 360. Um, you're probably going to see a little montage of the model in Fusion 360 right now. Um, once I actually had the model, I was able to print it, and this is the finished result. Now, it's the same size hole, so I knew that was going to work. Um, I just put some radius on here, made it look nice, um, and I put this dovetail here. Now this part of the dovetail I didn't experiment with, all I did was I printed it here. The part that I did need to experiment with is the female side of the dovetail. So I knew that the fit would need to be adjusted to make it fit nicely. So I remodeled the quick one that was just a tiny bit smaller. I think it was a half a millimeter smaller on all the sides. Um, that way I could test it and make sure it fit. Now this is one actually did fit snugly off the first try so I got lucky there. Um, and once I had that I could then go and 3D print the other three that use the same size hole and it allowed me to connect them together just like that, real easy. That way I can add in as many as I want depending on how many tools we end up having and I can change it at any point. Um, it also allowed me to 3D print little smaller pieces um, and I was able to do that. The same on all of these to where they all snap in together. What you're left with is a nice little tool holder. Everything's all combined. You can put all your your tools in there and it's nice and secure. Alright, so this is how unorganized it was before. You can never find what you're looking for. And then this is with all the tools in their place. Now this is super nice. You can grab the tool that you need, get your job done, put it back. They don't roll around anymore. It's perfect. Thanks for watching.